Hello, I'm Shilpa Mehta of the Feldstein Family Law Group. Today I'd like to talk to you about the case management system. The various steps in a court matter are dealt with in more detail in other blogs on our website and I encourage you to watch them, but today is more of an overview to whet your appetite for this subject. Whenever you go to court, you need to understand that you are slowly marching towards a final resolution in the form of a trial. All the rumors are true. They can be stressful, time-consuming, costly, and adversarial. So how can we make this process a little less stressful, time-consuming, costly, and adversarial? The case management system, of course. In Ontario, the powers that be directed that we need a way to help reduce conflict between the parties in a family law matter to reduce wait times for court and help parties avoid the stress and cost of trial. And the case management system was born. Let me break it down for you. Case management is a system that requires parties to attend court for conferences prior to trial. The theory is these conferences wherein discussion is preferred over argument will help bridge the gap between the parties and only insurmountable gaps will then need to be um, taken to trial to reach a final resolution. There are three types of conferences. Case conference. This is often the first court date. At case conferences, you will discuss the issues in dispute and a judge will give you some recommendations regarding potential settlement and how to address the procedural issues. Procedural issues include such things such as ensuring that parties have exchanged disclosure in a reasonable time so that support and property issues can be resolved. The presumption is that when the parties discuss their issues with a judge who is available to offer recommendations and solutions to those issues, then perhaps they can settle everything on that date or shortly thereafter. When the parties do not settle, we move to the next conference. The second conference is called a settlement conference. By the time the parties attend a settlement conference, the parties should be prepared to settle many, if not all, of the outstanding issues. They should have made some overtures to each other to try to settle their matter before the settlement conference, and they are now returning to court to seek the assistance of a judge to help them find the middle ground on, where, on the issues they disagree. During settlement conferences, judges advise the parties on how they would resolve the issue if they were the trial judge. The theory is that once the parties have an idea how a judge would decide their matter, they will be more reasonable regarding their settlement positions. Many matters will settle at this stage, but if they do not, we really only have reached the halfway point. Trial Management Conference. The third conference is called a Trial Management Conference. At a Trial Management Conference, the conference the judge is focused on the preparation for trial. By asking about witness lists, timelines, opening statements, the judge wants to make sure that a matter is ready for trial before adding the matter to a trial list. As with all conferences, a Trial Management Conference is also a time for the parties to discuss settlement before going to trial. At each conference, judges can make procedural orders and orders upon which the parties agree. The conference judge is not able to make any other types of orders unless a notice has been given for same. The same judge will usually hear all the conferences in the matter and she or he is called the case management judge. Having the same judge at each conference ensures that the parties have the con continuity and efficiency of dealing with only one judge, and so that judge can gain a familiarity with the parties and the issues. The case management system focuses more on discussion than argument. It makes the parties identify their issues, state their respective positions on those issues, discuss what documents they need from one another to help them turn their theories into fact, and most importantly, promotes settlement. Without it, we, need, we would be arguing before we really knew what we were arguing about. When we take the time to actually discuss things, we often find out that we were arguing about things that weren't worth the time or effort. I'm Shilpa Mehta. Thank you for watching today. If you need information or wish to schedule a consulta consultation, please visit our website at www.separation.ca or contact our office at 905-415-1636.